uh, hit that record button. Hello, YouTube land. New game. Autosave is fine. I think I hit no, but whatever. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Oh, I forgot to turn my light back on. There we go. That's good. Enough. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next we, moment. Oh, nope, we're not done yet. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Now we done? I think we done. Huh. Hi, YouTube. This is the D-Make of the game with the yeah, same Gary. name on Steam. It sure Fuck. looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm going to have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Anyways, <laughs> don't know why they made it, to be honest. Ha ha. <laughs> it's not... A D-Make D is a thing, Rue, where uh, you take a game like, say, Bloodborne on the PlayStation 3... And then you demake it. So instead of like a remake where you update it for a new console or whatever, you actually take it and make it for like an older console, like the PlayStation 1 or something like that, right? So they were joking because of the new remake rehydrated um, that this is a demake. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Selecting no fraud. I know. I didn't mean to. I clicked the wrong button. They look weird. I mean, look, it's relatively early 3D. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, 
How do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to R1? read the signs. Mm. Who presses R1 Meow. to read a sign? So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better Wh get started now, Gary. I think that this why is going R1? to be a very <laughs> That is such a weird... Why day. not just X? Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. Okay. The complete lack of lighting. Yeah, everything's pretty flat lit. I mean, like... It looks, it, it's fake lighting, but you can tell that there's like some light on this wall, whereas this here shaded darker. That's, you know, it's a form of lighting. Wow. Read the sign. I, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was legit trying to read the sign. Okay, I guess we cannot read that sign. <laughs> a note from Mr. Krabs. <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Gross. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, You've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Yeah, very fake, you're right. It's and yeah, it, they just used, well, it was, what, vector lighting for the PS2 and whatnot? back in the day, which honestly can still look pretty decent. Obviously not as nice as per pixel lighting, but okay, so we do stay. got a double jump. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or in more dangerous places. Imposter crabs. I'm assuming they couldn't get the uh, real voice actor for Krabs for one reason or another. What do the other buttons do? Anything? So square. I think square's attack. <laughs> Triangle does that. I don't know what that is. Uh, and circle does nothing on the ground, but when we're jumping, it does a slam on the ground. Okay. I imagine the tutorials will probably end up covering all of that at some point as well. The right stick controls camera. Move the right stick to the rotate SpongeBob's right. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm fine with all of that. You tell us to press R1 to read signs, and then you automatically read all of the signs to us. So thank you for that game. Uh, do we have enough? We do. Let's go. Imagine it's a lot more work to have nice looking vertex lighting and requires relatively high poly meshes. If you want it to be super smooth, then you would need a pretty high vertex model. But if you don't care about it being super smooth, then, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> it can be a little jarring in places, but I don't know. For the time, I still think it looked pretty decent. And then you can do a lot with baking as long as you don't have, like, real-time day-night cycles and things. This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Dope, let's go. Oh, it's Robo Crabs again, maybe. That'll be the final boss of the game. Killing Robo Crabs. Do I have enough to go in this room? The store is locked. You need shiny objects in order to open it. No. We do not. Are there more around here somewhere that I missed? Or do we just have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe we just have to come back to get those? There are some up there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ten. Let's go, dude. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. It's a weird transition. Actually, you could still have baked at day cycles by blending two baked lighting textures together over time. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, I'll give that one to you, dude. Totally. A pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces like this. Rude! <laughs> what the f When SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start the area over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear. Don't we all start the day that way? Uh, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing heart. <laughs> Like a new sponge. Can we like break this open? No. Can we interact with the chest at all? Other than jumping on it, it doesn't appear so. 
Now it said something about jumping on the bed. Do we like... No. SpongeBob may jump by pressing the X button. Pressing the X button while SpongeBob in the mid jump cause him to double jump for extra height. Oh, okay, we just had to... See, when he said like jumping on the bed, I thought we were actually gonna jump on the bed, not the diving board above it. Can we get an underwater check? Uh, about that. <laughs> where I keep all my old comic books. Wait, what is... Is this like a trophy room or something? Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Can we, like, run around? Oh, underwear, not underwater. Uh... <laughs> So circle to do that. Yep. It's Just gonna ooh, big bouncy thing. Oh, we can walk around on the ball. Uh, okay. I'm assuming I need the ball to go. What was this time? Press the triangle button when on the ground. Sponge will do a bubble bash. The bubble bash attack can smash tiki's. Okay. So that's what it wants us to do. Smash Latikis. Physics? Phys physics are just a figment of your imagination. Isn't everything just a figment of our imagination at the end of the day? Press the tr square button. Holy shit, I know my shapes. SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. Okay. Collect all the shinies, please and thank you. SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing R2. Uh, okay. Lower right is Patrick's Lost Socks. Why do we need to find Patrick's Lost Socks? Why can't he find his own Lost Socks? Can we jump and attack? We can. I still want to know how to get that one up there, though. The only thing I can think is that we gotta, like, jump off this ball, right? Oh, let's go! Okay, that actually worked. Oh, yeah, dude. See how well SpongeBob is doing on every level of the game? Press the start button when paused. Pressing up and down will show you how well SpongeBob is doing in each level. Pressing right and left will give SpongeBob a hint on each golden spatula that you know about. By pressing the X button when the hint for a golden spatula is selected, SpongeBob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. Very cool. I think I need to get the ball over here. Too far. Too far. Come come back. Because of Patrick. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Stop running away, you ball. Damn, it's square, not circle. Okay, stop. Right about there. Perfect. Oh, there's a lost sock. Let's go. Wait, how do we get... Oh, it's timed. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we got 20 seconds. This is fine. Uh, this is not fine. I lied. Uh, camera, rotate. Let's go. Let's go. Is there anything else up here that we... No, okay. I just had a platform on each side. Let's go, dude. Because if Patrick found his lost socks, they wouldn't be Patrick's lost socks anymore. This is... Too true. Too true. Who lives in a rock under deep in the sea. Bikini Patrick Starfish. Have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. I hate this game already. <laughs> Wait, Patrick doesn't even wear socks? I mean, maybe his feet get cold sometimes? Look, I don't want to jinx it, but honestly, I'm just surprised the game loaded at all. It may stop loading now. This may be the end of it. Uh, ah, nope, still working. So far, so good. I'm gonna grab my drink. Neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. 
Scream no jinx it. I'm not trying to actually jinx it. I'm just legitimately surprised that a little laser cleaning and uh, wiping off of that uh, security check on the disc was all it took to get it running. Now, granted, it's, you know, the FMVs were a little skippy there in the beginning, but still. Good old water, dude. I have a flavored water downstairs, and I forgot to bring it upstairs with me. It's kind of tragic, but whatever. You don't appreciate the newscaster How speaking steal tragically? The Patty formula was again, he, though? Eh, well, you or was he just saying the word tragic it. over and over again? I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. Plankton's looking a little brown. <laughs> Isn't he normally, like, a little more green? That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. I don't trust him. Do you want... Oh, no, it's fine, love. I'll be okay. I have, uh, like, half a bottle of water left. Can we invert... Adjust settings... No. I was hoping we could invert the camera controls. The up and down I like. I don't like the way the back and forth is. In 3D games, I like the camera being inverted, up being down, and down being up. Uh, but I like whenever you press left for the camera to turn left so that you run left. Whenever you press right, you know, camera turning to the right so you run right. It's a little, a little odd, I know. <laughs> what? What? Look, when I saw the red line, I knew that the red line was going to, like, prevent us from going much farther or whatever, right? Like, I knew I knew that was the limit for the level. That was pretty clear. But I didn't think we were just going to start sliding around on our stomach <laughs> until we got grabbed. Wait, how do we... SpongeBob! Oh, this damn it, crabs! I'm busy here. This is making the crusty crab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out, and of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. No, I did not hide the donuts. Did you like the brown sugar on butter toast? And does that sound like the better? No, it's definitely still a bad voice. You will. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Okay, 3,000 apparently. Seems like a lot. You found them? I'm glad you found them, love. You do? It's wonderful? I told you, my guy. I absolutely love brown sugar on toast. On buttered toast. It's also like something I grew up with, though, so that's definitely a, a big portion of why I like it so much, but... Oh, okay, so that'll take us to there. And that one's not on a timer, thankfully. And then if we hit this alarm... Now, we should be able to get on top of the rock. Right? And then... Oh, no! It was secretly on a timer. Come back here, you bastard. Okay. Oh, no, 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 bastard. Ugh. What's even up there? What's the point of, like... 
Did that re- No, it didn't renew it. Why are we trying to get on top of SpongeBob's house? There's got to be a reason for it. It's weird that that one shows up a uh, timer whenever we hit it, but this one doesn't, even though they're both, like, limited time things. Oh, it's a golden spatula. Nice. This is a great view we have here. Your brown sugar was your mom making into a syrup for pancakes? Honestly... I feel like that would taste pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. A brown sugar syrup for pancakes? I could get into that. I've never heard of anyone doing that before, though. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped Hi, by Bubble to buddy. give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeat- We already knew about that, Bubble Buddy, but thank you anyways. Just want to know why the SpongeBob needs four pairs of underwear. Apparently even more than that. It just it starts with three and then it just goes up from there. Oh, invisible walls. You couldn't have just made the fences taller. I hate invisible walls. Oh no! Uh no, it's fine, because if we break these, the other ones will come crashing down. Okay. I was thinking like platforming section, although with that said. There is one, like, way up there that I don't think I can get now. Can I not jump on this tree? Son of a bitch. What if we do, like, a double jump and then a triangle? No, you have to be on the ground. That's annoying. Hopefully that shit respawns. That was the thing you did with brown sugar all the time, and it is good. So I figure hey, it will Patrick. be, honestly. Nice I believe sock. you. <laughs> what sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. It is. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. I, I hate this game already. <laughs> Can't take it. Press R1 to enter Patrick's Rock. Okay. We'll do that in a moment. 15 to enter that area. We have what? Two? Three? Does it use them up whenever we collect them? We have two. Yeah, okay. Patrick has a foot fetish, you think? I mean, maybe. I wouldn't entirely put it past him. Let's go in his rock, dude. Now I'm going to have to try that, Nate. <laughs> Legit. Like, I'm going to have to make some brown sugar syrup and see how I like it. We broke his couch and found a sock. Nice. Are other objects destroyable? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What about Mr. Squidward's home? Anything in there? Also, Noodle, you mentioned us needing a better background. That is doable. Like, I can... If we want to get a background, we could do that. I have no idea what we'd want for our background, but... Because most of what you're seeing right now is a fake background. There, you can see... Right there, that blue is the actual background. Because the I don't have like really bright lighting. So the uh, the blue screen that's back here is a little bit uh, brighter than... Or I'm sorry, a little bit darker than the, uh, the blue that's displayed on the screen right now. Something fun? Like what, dude? A cat sleeping? <laughs> that's it. Just, just a cat sleeping. That's the entire background. Did 
There we go. Now we got it. Uh, okay. Well, that one needs five. This one doesn't need any. Wait a second. We broke these before. So you can just infinitely farm the shinies if you want to. Good to know, I guess. Let's go and Squidward Sticky. Do you want the new meat for your sandwiches tomorrow? I don't care. Either one of the meats are fine for me, love. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. You do suggest that it was good. It's one of those things you always kept in your back pocket from when you're out of syrup and happen to have brown sugar. I don't eat pancakes enough for that to be a real problem for me. Um, but it just sounds like something good. <laughs> like, so I just want to try it now for that reason alone. Hey. <laughs> Drew a mustache on his picture. Is that all there is to do here? We broke all his stuff. And then we leave. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Squidward. <laughs> you want some bread sandwich? It's really easy to make. Hell yeah, dude. Just put a little bit of Miracle Whip on it. Mm. Miracle Whip sandwiches. One of my favorites. The other was open the 7th. That's what is today? The 16th? I mean, it should still be fun. Gotta follow first in, first out, right? Uh, sure. Let's go to Jellyfish Fields. Why not? <laughs> Smells and feels normal? Okay, I I'm sure it's fine. I mean, I ate it today, and <laughs> it didn't seem like there was anything wrong with it. It tasted fine. Ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Give fuck, Squidward. Squidward. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Couldn't you just, like... I don't know, deal with it for a little while. <laughs> like, you're not dying, my guy. You'll be okay. Seal container is not in front of you. You'll, your face, you'll forget it exists. So, it's half full when I last see it. It's continually half full in your brain. Oh, you mean from, like, other people eating it? I was confused, because I was like, well, if it's not in front of your face and you're not eating it, then what's the problem, right? It's just, <laughs> it'll, it'll still be there whenever you need it. But, uh, I forgot you have a wife and the children that probably eat pancakes from time to time. I thought this said this is God, and I was like, oh God. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall into God. I, 
<laughs> Sometimes I hate SpongeBob. Like, <laughs> the absurdity of <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick not being able to swim. This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. If only that were real. You can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Going fishing for robots? Let's go. I can't jump that high, can I? No. Can I, like, if I do the triangle, can I adjust it in any way? No. We can go from triangle into a slam, though. Okay. Nope. End up gone, you'll not notice at all. I mean, there's worse things in the world, right? You could be out of pancakes. You got this. Let's go. Still can't stand on that tree, though. I'm so scared of the goo. Is it like an instant death if we fall in? Oh! Ow. No, but we do lose some underwear. I'm assuming we lost... No, we didn't even lose underwear. We're fine. Sorry, collectathon games are like a weakness of mine. Because I struggle to not just collect everything in sight. Is this 125? We have enough for that. Yeah, complete the... Yes, complete the bridge. Is that how they build bridges in real life? They just airdrop in planks? Like magic? Wait, won't that kill me? Wait, what's that over there? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think we were allowed to do that. We don't take damage though, right? No, we just, uh, just everything respawns. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Did the underwear? Yeah, even the underwear respawns. Or no, maybe we didn't grab the underwear before. Either way. I'm assuming we can just go around this way to get over there. Instead of, you know, trying to jump across the gap we're obviously not meant to jump across. Made vanilla ice cream. May have splashed in a little bit too much vanilla. Who doesn't like some alcoholic vanilla at the end of the day? Just maybe don't give that vanilla ice cream to your kids. It's only the equivalent of taking like a shot of whiskey, that's all. How do we get those? There must be like another power up or something we can get at some point. Not that we necessarily need them. They are infinite, after all, the shinies. But still, it bugs me. Because they're there, and we should be able to get them somehow. I just don't know how. Do killing the jellyfish even do anything for us? I don't think so. Are you bouncy? You are it bouncy. Shines. we do like a giant? Yes, we can. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> they all gotta try a bit before you realize how strong it was. It's fine. It does blow my mind though, just how alcoholic vanilla extract really is. This is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of the area. The beginning of the area is 10 steps away, so in this case, I don't think it was that big of a deal, but I imagine the levels will probably get larger as we continue on. It's good to know there are checkpoints. Has anybody played Rehydrated and this game? I'm just curious, like, what the differences really are. Is it worth it? To play through Rehydrated if we end up playing through this one. This is Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick can use the Freezy Fruit. I'm assuming that's how we end up getting the stuff from the water. Oh, it's just underwear. Okay. So I'm assuming somehow that... We broke the Freezy Fruit. I'm assuming somehow that uh, we're going to use that to freeze the water so we can like run around on the water or something. 
Oh. Oh no. Okay, wait. What did it say? Get extra height during jumps by pressing the X button again. Yes, I know that, but... Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. I think those uh, ones that fell, like, right here, maybe we need to leave them or something. Maybe they were here, so then we could jump over to there. Ah. Let's go. I hope those reminders don't pop up forever. Every time we come up to a button or whatever. It's nice having a reminder every once in a while, but too many of them is just going to get a bit annoying. Let's go. Oh, no! We missed a thing. Oh, well. You don't know with imitations, but on pure, it's like 80 proof or higher. I know it's strong. Like, uh, one of the... the baking YouTubers, cooking YouTubers that I watch was talking about like, you know, one of his recipes, it used like Kahlua or something like that. He was like, if you, if you don't drink or don't want to use Kahlua or whatever, I understand, you know, like use this as an alternative or whatever. But me personally, this stuff is weaker than vanilla. And if you put a splash of vanilla in your baking and don't think anything of it, then you should do the same here. And that's when it clicked in my head, like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> vanilla extract is basically just pure alcohol that we dump in our baked goods and our drinks and stuff all the time and then just don't even think anything of. I also find it very weird that they sell it in stores. Like without an ID check or anything like that. Cooking wine as well. Uh, you can buy cooking wine in a lot of stores uh, where you can't otherwise buy alcohol without an ID check. The thing with cooking wine is though... If you try to chug a bottle of cooking wine, you would probably throw up or die. <laughs> and not from the alcohol, because it is alcoholic, but from the uh, the amount of salt that's in it, because that shit is salty as hell. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Why are you out here, Gary? Shouldn't you be at home? Wow, wow a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. Is anyone else really bothered by the fact that that I isn't capitalized? Some lady chugged two of the small McCormick bottles in a Walmart parking lot, then decided to drive. She was wasted. <laughs> That's terrible, dude. Also completely unsurprising, but... This is a bungee hook. SpongeBob can bungee from it. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and touch it. To dive downward, press the X button. To exit the bungee hook, press triangle. Oh, okay. That's how we get this. Let's go. Only at Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, nah, that thing type of stuff surely happens at, like, Target. But then I thought about it for a second. I was like, probably not, dude. It, <laughs> it sort of thing probably does only happen. Press this button. Oh, yeah. That sort of stuff probably does only happen at one point. I mean, I've heard stories from, like, my grandpa, who uh, was an alcoholic at one point in time, whenever he was trying to quit, uh, like, getting desperate and chugging bottles of, like, mouthwash and stuff like that. Like, it's just, it's wild what people would do, man. Is that a ham? Is he beating himself with a hawk of ham? Why? <laughs> that is so, so random, dude. Get wrecked? Can we talk to you? No. Can we do anything with you? No, you just exist. Okay. Onward and outward, then. Had to beat the meat. He was being beat with meat is more accurate. Which, I mean, each their own, I guess. But ham? 
I like ham as much as the next guy, but come on, dude. You think you have an alcoholic who comes in and buys little bottles of Listerine for that? That's just like, don't they use methanol for, for like Listerine and stuff? Not, you know, ethanol, drinking alcohol? I don't actually know, but I thought Listerine was the not safe to drink kind of alcohol. Not the this is fine to drink kind of alcohol. So, like... And if you're of legal age to drink, why not just buy alcohol at that point? It's got to be cheaper, too. <laughs> like, I know there are expensive alcohols out there, but Listerine's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. You have no idea, but he buys the travel ones. That's so weird, man. We have a guy that buys like four or so cans of compressed air regularly. Yep. That's a whole nother thing, dude. I've never tried compressed air and don't plan on ever trying it. That just seems wild to me and not in a good way. I can't imagine it's good enough for all of the, the risks associated with it. You know what I mean? Like, how do we do this? Spongebob needs to know the bubble bowl move. Oh, okay. So, can't do that yet. Understood. Like, you always hear stories of, of people getting messed up on canned air and just, like, how bad it turns out for them. Not to mention, I've accidentally gotten the stuff in my mouth before, and it is absolutely disgusting, dude. Like, it tastes horrible. <laughs> I would not, like, I can't imagine a high being good enough for me to want a freaking puff canned air. Can I just hit you and do it that way? Yeah, thank goodness. That's a lot easier. This is Goose. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim. I know. We've had that pop up before, but thank you. One of those highs that can be an instant death. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Yep. Don't huff canned air, kids. Don't huff anything. <laughs> Honestly. I, I, I just don't understand the appeal, dude. I, I guess it's like that for a lot of things for me though personally like but canned air is at the top of that list of i just things i just can't understand like no shit we dead oh cool i don't know if that was a legit checkpoint but I'm assuming there's some sort of like... Oh, it bounces over here. Let's go. Another sock. And then, hold on. Wait. You're probably going to bounce me back somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Nowhere else to go, though. Just my side. Back to the beginning. Let's go, dude. Like, not even ODing. It just hits the wrong way and causes a multitude of issues. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, again, never tried it don't plan on ever trying it but i've heard the stories of people like that do it all the time and then they like all of the sudden like start having seizures or something in a parking lot or get ex more screwed up than normal and wrecking their car or just straight up dying and it's like dude it, how is it how how is it worth it i don't i just i don't get it that machine huffing and puffing over there is a duplicatron 1000 the D-1000 will continue to create robots until it is destroyed. Be careful, though. It goes out with a big bang. People are just whack? Yes. Yes, they are. I'm assuming that bang would have hurt us if we had stayed too close. Hence the warning. Let's go. Golden spatula for the win. So how similar is this to your uh, to your Game Boy Advance version that you played, Room? 
So I'm, I'm guessing it's pretty different. Speaking of issues. <laughs> yeah, Nate with his gambling addiction. Very different? Yeah. I figured it would be. Wow, That's how most man, games were back in the day. And and when they got a mobile port. Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. I don't like feet, so gonna have to pass on that one, my guy. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage no. I must. No, it won't, SpongeBob. Don't be that gullible. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! I mentioned that I hate this game. <laughs> oh, a, wait, a duel? Oh, Nate's just doing all of the things. I see a heist, though. I want to get in on that heist action. How many points do I have? It's less than Nate. That's a big number. I don't feel like <laughs> reading that out. Hey, congrats, Rue. I'm beating Nate. He deserved it. He needs to beat every once in a while. Oh, this is not what I thought was happening. Why are we... Oh, this is so gross. Why? <laughs> Our tongue, though, dude. Oh, I do not like this. This is making me cringe a little bit. Just the thought of, like, sliding around what appears to be stone on our tongue. I am not a fan. That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. No, we should not do that again ever, SpongeBob. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing he's a sponge. He's still... I don't know, man. <laughs> Wait, did I not accept already? There we go. Hey, get wrecked, my guy. <laughs> Two losses in a row. Your canump... Canump... Can whatever. <laughs> Canumpins? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Comeuppance. I think it's... Is it comeuppance? Has come. <laughs> we all lived except for Nate. Aw. <laughs> Nate's having a bad night, man. He did just win, like, 50 million points, though, at the same time. So, like, I can't feel that bad for him. Ow. Yeah, the dude has more than enough points for a lifetime. Like, he's fine. <laughs> What'd that button do? Like a new sponge. We pressed it. Did it do anything though? I didn't do anything. Oh, there's more there's more things. Okay. Probably have to destroy all the duplicatron one thousands. If only my real bank account looked like that. <laughs> I, oh no! We got hit into the water. I was gonna say if my real bank account looked like that, y'all would never see me again. But then I remembered where I was. <laughs> so in all reality, if my bank account looked like that, y'all would probably see a lot more of me. Actually, I would spend less time at work and more time here working online. <laughs> Think you get the go part? Goo Lagoon is their beach? I think you mean the goo part. I'm assuming it's what you meant to type. Still weird though. Like, just the whole thing with, with them and like, they drink glasses of water sometimes. Or like, bathe in bathtubs and all that sort of stuff, you know? It's just, it's weird, dude. 
Okay, I'm assuming we need to hit all three buttons for some reason. I don't think you'd have to keep your job at all at that point. I know, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like, if my bank account looked like that, if I was at work, if I was at my, my real job, and somebody said something like that, I would probably have said, if my bank account looked like that, y'all would never see me again. Or y'all would see a lot less of me around here. You know, something along those lines. Then I remembered I'm streaming, not working at my real job. So, <laughs> so in all likelihood, y'all would actually see a lot more of me here. Because with all my extra free time, what do you think I'd be doing, man? I'd... I'd be either streaming or working on video games, um, hey, videos, whatever. Like, I mean, I would still work doing stuff like this. I would just work doing things I enjoy instead of things that make me money. Woo. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so now we're playing as Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. How's Patrick different than SpongeBob? Okay, he has a double jump still. He has a belly flop. He doesn't spin. He just does that. It also seems like he doesn't have any high jump attack sort of thing like SpongeBob does. Um, I'm assuming the game wants me to go that way. Oh, we can't do a jumping attack at all with him. Ooh. Ah, oh, you're right. It does look like that's an AoE, huh? I can't help but remember, though, that at the beginning of this level, there was the... Uh, that, that ice fruit, or not at the beginning of the level, but earlier on. Oh, I guess we can't get back there from here, can we? Lame. Never mind. You said I wouldn't have to work as much, like you would be keeping it. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I probably fucked up my words. I do that a lot. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, that is technically correct. I wouldn't have to work as much. I would have to work about zero. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up a throw fruit and throw it. Throw fruit will push buttons, destroy tikis, or damage robots. But use it quickly because throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. Did it say what button to pick it up? <laughs> Sir, okay. Get wrecked. Patrick can also pick up and throw tikis, but only tikis that don't have other tikis stacked on top of them. I can throw a tiki. Oh, yeah. The message we literally just read. Can I throw a tiki at you? <laughs> Get wrecked, bro. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or Patrick at bus stops. Good to know. Anything else? What? Can I pick up this guy? No. Now, what did it say about steps? Patch can throw fruit up steps, then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But you better hurry before it works. Okay. I'm just aiming, like, too far. I need to aim, like, that way. I'm pressing circle, dude. Let's go. Puzzling master, my guy. Special Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up a throw fruit, stand on the pink starfish side, and throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will then be flung across to the other side of the lake. Let's go. Oh, shit. But was that? Okay, cool. It was a checkpoint. We Gucci. 
This is a Thunder Tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will become, begin to storm, and after a few seconds, we'll go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. Uh... <laughs> just fuck that guy in particular, man. What if the thought you just sat throw fruit if they didn't specify throwing it, right? It's a good thing they specified, dude. Hatch can pick up a Thunder Tiki and throw it just like the other Tikis, okay? Uh, I kind of already destroyed them all. Because hey, I wanted to hit that dude. Head. Watch where you're going, you watch where you're going dick. He's talking to me. Almighty oh, Rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design a knockoff wallet. Oh, thank you. Such an idiot. Uh, you jump in the air and press circle button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hit buttons below you. I got it, game. Can we pick up these missiles? No. I wonder if we get like a power up later or something that lets us pick up larger objects. Cause there's those missiles there. There's uh like the bottles and stuff like that that are strewn about everywhere. That neither Patrick nor SpongeBob seem to really be able to interact with. Patrick can attempt to pick it up, but he can't actually. I'm assuming we can pick these up too, right? Oh, um, nope. Just don't touch those, apparently. That's fine. You're gonna get your shower? Enjoy your shower, my love. Uh, can I throw it at one of those kikis? Pretty sparkly thingy. Is that enough to make it blow up? No. Okay, what about this one? I know we can throw the throw fruit, dude. Hmm. Lame. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can actually do anything with that. Also, cannot interact with the jellyfish at all. Ow. The jellyfish can interact with me, though. My god. But this one? No. Pick up fruit and throw the fruit. Let's go. Professionals. Hmm. I think spikes might be bad. Hey, my back feels better. Chiropractic tips with Patrick. Just belly slam yourself into the ground. You'll be fine. So wait, do we have to like... It's probably just if we want to get that Tiki over there. I'm going to try not to worry about it too much because I would like to beat this level. And I just realized what time it was. Ow. Ow. We're gonna die. I really need some underwear. Thank God. It's one extra hit at least. Now, the real question is, do we die at zero underwear or do we die at like negative one underwear? Ah, what? Bro, I totally thought we were jumping over that. The way to throw fruit will also activate pressure plates. So, can we, like, gently sit it down? No, but we can throw it directly at it. That'll work. 
I don't think Patrick jumps as high as SpongeBob does. Annoyingly. I assume we need this for something. Patrick can also jump up on throw fruit to get to higher places. Oh, I didn't think of that. Let me back. I want the underwear. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Can we stack tiki's? Is it possible to sit stuff down? No. Okay. Dude, we be stacking fruit for days. Let's go, bro. So I'm assuming we want to throw you over there. And then aim you at it. Patrick should be like a baseball pitcher or something, dude. He's really good at this whole throwing thing. Ah, uh, we're gonna do the tongue thing again, aren't we? No, okay, we're sliding on our butt. This is acceptable. This is how it should be. I would like that underwear, please. More than I want any of this other crap. I'm assuming the Thunder Tiki's will hurt if I touch them. Oh no, the water! Every time we get a checkpoint, dude, we end up in the water directly afterwards. Or I'm sorry, the goo directly afterwards. It's a freezy fruit. Patrick can pick up freezy fruit and throw it. Freezy fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. What should we be throwing it at? I guess over here. Oh, it just freezes all of the goo. Very cool. Okay. That's some powerful ass uh, fruit, man. Imagine having like a glass of pop or something that's just way too warm and you need to cool it down. One of those, you just barely tap it in there, just a speck of it, and it instantly freezes the whole thing. Patrick belly flops near robots, can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Yawn in here. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. Oh shit, their attacks can still hurt us though while we're belly flopping. Good to know. Oh shit, that's good. Hey, Gucci. Patrick may also use throw fruit to defeat robots. I never would have guessed. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. Uh, is it really worth it though? I guess we probably have to do that here to get the button, huh? Ow. No, button. There we go. Siege. Thank you for the spatula, my guy. We missed the sock. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Can I even make that jump? Okay, yeah. It looked farther away than it actually was. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, scary dark cave. On to Jellyfish Lake. Your boy's getting tired. This game has gone by surprisingly quick. I guess that just means we're enjoying ourselves, though. Nothing to complain about. Oh, it's legit, it's a good game. Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Sure. Yes. King Jelly. Oh yeah, that's right. We need the King Jellyfish for the jelly. I remember now. all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Uh, can we switch back to Spongebob? He has a lot more mobility. Say one or two more levels in the bed. Yeah, that's... I was going to try to finish, like, this level as a whole is what I was going to attempt to do. But I have no idea how long that's actually going to end up taking. So, maybe not. It's a tartar sauce robot. Tartar sauce.
we kill it just like we do anything else, or do we need to do something special with it? I didn't mean to come up here, but you know what? Get wrecked. Can I throw you? No. You're a little too big to be thrown, I suppose. Oh, God. They're going to blow. What? <laughs> How did that hit me, dude? I thought for sure we were far enough away. Uh, we don't need the underwear, so smash. Cheats? I wonder if there are cheats available for this game. It was made in the right time period for it. A lot of games from this time period have cheats. So I would not be surprised. I know that's not what you were talking about, but... <laughs> Anytime I play older games, I, I can't help but wonder what kind of cheats they have available, if any. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. Fucking if you rude. can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Miss Puff looks like she's on crack right now, dude. Why is she so jittery? Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. She's on drugs. This is a sh tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. Okay. Oh, I see. They disappear whenever we get too close. Ow. What? <laughs> That was such a delayed reaction. I hit the ground, it smacked me. And then... He got stunned, like... Um... Maybe we can throw you at the shtikis? I mean, that destroyed them. There's no way we're getting those underpants now, though. Surprised we can't get the thing, though. Yeah, whatever. I don't care enough to destroy the other ones. Onward! Thank you for the shinies. I appreciate you. I will take those underpants, please. Can we make the jump? Yes, we can. Let's go. Get wrecked, Mr. Robot, dude. What? I hit you. Okay, you're dead now. Pick him up. Wrecked. I wonder what the speed run for this is like outside of uh like I know the, the rehydrated version of it they found some exploits that lets them beat the game much more quickly than normal but I wonder what just a normal speed run without the the exploits exploits of this is like because if you like rushed it you could probably get through a lot of these levels pretty quick and with a good route to get you the the spatulas and, and shinies that you need. SpongeBob should come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble. Okay. Because you do have to collect a certain number of things to like unlock the next levels and stuff. So you couldn't just run straight to wherever you need to go without exploits, but you could certainly uh, get through the level pretty quickly. Or levels. Do I need you for anything? Does it look like it? I, mean, I guess I probably could have, like, hit this guy with one of them. Run away, run away. We Gucci. It's a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis. Just, I feel like we should back up a little bit. I don't, I don't know how big of an explosion the thunder tikis have. 
Uh, we don't need the underpants. It's big enough, though, I didn't want to be standing near when it blew up. I do like how when you hit one of the robots or whatever, they can, like, run into another one and destroy them, etc. That's pretty cool. I enjoy that. Sorry, I didn't realize you were in there spawning more robots. Ow. Stop making me shit my underpants, please. There's another sock up there. Hmm. Don't know how to get it, though. Is this the place? Is this where we're trying to go? Uh, sure. Open the gate. Ugh! <laughs> I'm yawning. I can't stop it. Run, 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 run. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. I see you shooty robot, bro. I saw a pair of underpants right there, though, that I want to get a hold of. So if you don't mind. Thank you. Wait, what? Did I not just kill you? Okay. Weird. I thought there was another one of those duplicatrons or something around here. Ah, you dick. Uh, sure. Only got half of those. The other half fell to the ground. Can we make that jump? If we don't, we have to run all the way back up here. So I'm not going to try it right now. If or whenever we decide to finish this game, though, I'm probably going to have to give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to work, but you know. Dude, I thought this was just a normal little girl for a moment. I was very confused. I was like, don't you know you're like way under the ocean, my guy? You may want to get help. You're going to be crushed by the massive pressure of water above you. And I can't see. Hopefully that's aimed at the right spot. Uh, no. Not worth it. Ooh. Touch you. Run away. Hey, let's go. Uh. Yep, saw that happening. Son of a bitch, dude. We could have tried to make that jump. How do we get back up there? I think it's around this way. Yeah, okay, we went that way in the tunnel before. Go over here this time, I guess. See if there's anything different. Anything new? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just some extra shinies. Just fair enough, I guess. I didn't know these things disappeared, to be completely honest. Wasn't a huge fan of the timing on them either. Like, thankfully, it ended okay for us, but that could have ended poorly. All right, try to. And wearing all that junk, just get back to where we were. That particular dude, I feel like. Oh, I wonder if we can get this row fruit all the way from here over to there. No. No, we cannot. Hmm. Is there anything over here we can throw at him? Notice the music is starting to skip a little bit now, which is probably our cue that the game's breaking. Oh, 
Oh, let's go. Oh, you take two hits. That's why you didn't die when I thought you should earlier. Honestly, you'd believe it. I forgot what I said. <laughs> Legit. Like, I just completely forgot what I said, man. My bad. All the music's giving. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised it booted up at all, considering it, like, wasn't reading at all there at first. So I'm just happy it's working as well as it is. I'll gladly take it. Honestly, I wasn't even trying to jump up here. I just double jumped because habit. But, uh, yay, shinies. And then I guess we're going down here, right? Switch characters, let's go. Give me back my boy, SpongeBob. SpongeBob can jump up walls by jumping and jumping again. Wait, what? Okay. For a second, I thought we could only jump, like, wall jump at those points that have the, the poorly drawn picture of Spongebob, but no, it's just... I wasn't pressing jump fast enough, that's all. Ah, you... Ah, you bastard! Okay. I will take that spatula, please. I think we've earned it. God, it's after two. Okay. This is the end of the level. Is this... If this is a boss fight, we'll try the boss fight. But if it's more level, I think we're going to have to call it there. I am going to put this game on the list of games to complete, though, either way. Because, like, I am enjoying it. Oh, man. Ugh. Right? It's just it's just a good game, which honestly, I mean, I'm not surprised by. I've heard good things about it, and it was obviously good enough for them to feel like they should remake it. So, like, it's not surprising that it's good. But it is good. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you, love. All right, what do we got? We got freezing game, boss fight, or <laughs> what's going on here? Well, the game might have decided. Oh no! Hey, hey, there we go. Gosh, everyone is trying to help. Step quietly there. Step quietly there. What? Okay. Is the boss right here at the top though? Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it is boss fight. How do we fight it, though? Like, if it was Patrick, I would think we'd probably, like, pick up stuff and throw at him. Now, is this goo or is that water? Okay, that must be some sort of goo. Or it's electrified. Legit, how do we fight this thing? Do we just hit him? Do we get him to come over the, the missiles? Hmm. How do we... Oh, you know what? Can we go under him? No. How do we fight him? There's like no indicator on how... I know, I'm so confused. We can't touch the water. We can't touch him. Hitting him without, like, touching him does nothing. We can't do that into him. Uh, is there, like, a hint?
Defeat the king jellyfish. Options? No. Take taxi, return to game. As SpongeBob, we only have the three moves. We have the pound, the spin, and the, the up slash thing. I'm gonna try hitting him again, I guess. Okay, so we can hit him whenever he goes down there. Weird, I wonder why it didn't work before. Okay. Yeah, after, yep, yep, yep. Good timing. <laughs> we just figured it out. So it's got to be before or after his little shield thing, but before he gets up again. We got to smack him. Oh, you figured it out yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, there's baby jellyfish. Ow! You bastard. Oh, God, we're dead. Son of a bitch. No, we're beating this guy, dude. We can beat him. He's not even that hard. Now that we know what I'm we're doing. Ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I was hoping maybe we could like hit him twice in one cycle, but no. Now she's headbutting, licking and biting your arms. She's a menace. I keep trying to tell you this, but you refuse to believe it. Okay. Woo. Thought we missed. You're a sweet little angel, baby. <laughs> Wait, he took his jelly with him, though. Isn't that the whole thing we can... Oh, okay. Maybe he's giving us some. Hey! Now we can save Squidward from a little bit of pain. While the game half freezes, but only half freezes. What is? <laughs> what is? <laughs> okay, whatever, it's fine. Ah, uh, why half that? I'm assuming it just couldn't load certain data, like the data for him moving, but. <laughs> I don't know. I would have thought that would have just been like a loop that was running or something. I don't know, man. Huh. Whatever. Point is, that was SpongeBob Battle for, for Bikini Bottom. We will be putting this on the list of a uh, as a game to complete. So if anyone wants to see that happen, do make sure to vote on it. In the meantime, though, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while we played... What was this? The 192nd game as part of the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. It is still crazy to me that we've played almost 200 PS2 games so far. Insane, dude. There was more. This is what happens when I get tired and things don't come to me. Uh, oh, regardless though, I hope to see you guys tomorrow for uh, Grounded with OptiJack. That's what we'll be playing tomorrow night. And uh, trying to collect the third chip, I think it is. Third or fourth, one or the other. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. I need to get some rest. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs> Be kind to each other. <laughs> the outros are always terrible. Always. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. <laughs>